Today I'm going to show you a couple different ways to blur out your face or just any object in Adobe Premiere Pro. We'll start with a traditional blur effect, and then go into this digital pixelated mosaic effect. Both are super easy and can be done in just a couple minutes. Let's get started. Cineguac. First thing you want to do is drag your video clip onto the timeline. Then head over to your effects library and search for an effect called Gaussian Blur. You'll find Gaussian Blur under Video Effects Blur and Sharpen subfolder. Drag that directly onto your video clip. Then with your playhead on the very first frame and your video clip selected, go to your Gaussian Blur settings in the Effect Controls panel and click on Create Ellipse Mask. Once you do that, you can then adjust the shape of the mask around your face. If you're looking to mask around an object that is not in the shape of a circle, I'll get to that in just a moment. And once you're done, head back over to your Gaussian Blur settings and increase the blurriness amount to your liking. In this case, 271 looks pretty good, but you know, you can change it to whatever you want. Then, of course, you can feather the edges to get rid of the harsh mask lines. Now, as you can see when you play this through, the mask is locked in one place, so now we have to motion track my face. Now, assuming you're not moving around too much and the image is fairly well lit, this is actually really, really easy. First, what you want to do is make sure your playhead is at the very beginning of your clip. Then head over to your Gaussian Blur Mask, and right next to the Mask Path, you'll see this Track Selected Mask Forward button. You're going to want to press that. And now your computer will do the hard work of actually tracking the movement of your face. So when it's done, you'll see it automatically sets all the keyframes for the duration of the clip, and when you play it through, the Gaussian Blur Mask follows your face. Cool. And just in case you prefer the look of a pixelated mosaic effect, you can follow the exact same method that we just used with only one main difference. Instead of dragging the Gaussian Blur effect onto your video clip, search for an effect called Mosaic. You'll find the Mosaic effect in the Video Effects Stylize subfolder. Drag that onto your clip, and with the video clip selected, head on up to your Mosaic settings in the Effects Control panel. There you can adjust the horizontal and vertical block values to achieve the look you're going for. Then, just like before, create an ellipse mask and adjust the size to fit your face. Once you've done that, hit the track selected mask forward and voila. And lastly, just in case you don't want a blurred circle or the light is super low and there's a lot of motion blur and Premiere can't really track automatically, here's how you can manually create the shape of your mask and set the motion path it moves on. What you gotta do is head up to your effect settings, and instead of creating an ellipse mask, select the free draw bezier tool. Then with this tool, you can mask around the exact shape of whatever part of the frame you wanna blur. Go through all the same steps as before, except instead of hitting the track selected mask forward button, you're just gonna have to go frame by frame and adjust the shape of the mask. Every time you make an adjustment, it'll automatically create a new keyframe. And just repeat this all the way through. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. As always, these take a while to put together, so if you found it at all helpful, make sure you hit that subscribe button. And uh, yeah, stay tuned for more.